Anyone can get into real estate, but not everyone could be great. The great are a little difficult to come by. The incredible, extremely rare. Now, how do you get deals closed fast, right? You get a deal under contract or you're working towards getting it under contract. Now you got to see it through to the finish line and you want to do it as quickly as possible. Although the normal people in real estate might not necessarily have this down, the great have gotten it figured out and the best have perfected it. That's what it takes to become the best, to get deals closed fast and then turned over. With that being said, let's get started. We're in Houston right now walking our new 56 unit crazy property here. It starts down there. We got a lot of billion dollar man. If you're trying to figure this out while in New York, it's all about the attorney. If you're in an attorney state like New York, you need a good one handling your file with a team behind them or an extremely good attorney single operator who's going to be all over your file and making sure it gets seen through to the finish line. Non-attorney states, which is most of America and the world, you need to be on top of your file fast. An email comes in, you answer it. The title comes in, you review it. You need to know what you're doing and be on top of everything as quickly as possible in order for it to keep moving. If you flag it and set it aside, you're only delaying the entire process. And that's going to slow down from the start to the finish of your deal. Using pre-existing connections are what's going to help you get to the finish line faster. For example, if you have a title company that you've already used or somebody else you know has already used and you're comfortable with, I highly suggest you use them. You don't need to go out now and shop around title companies if you're trying to get deals closed fast. If you are shopping them out, find the best one and focus on using them. Even if they're more expensive, it's okay if they give you what you want. Sometimes the best comes with a price. Quality is always more expensive, especially at scale. Contractors, home inspectors, lenders, you wanna use people that you know will see this deal through and not people that are just going to slow you down because they give you empty promises. If you're opening an LLC for your deal, I suggest you do it yourself. Yes, that might sound a little crazy because everyone's used to having their attorneys open their entities for them, but I figured out really early on that I can open my own companies faster than anybody else using a third party that I find on Google. There's plenty of websites that you could go to that'll open your LLC literally in a day's notice, and then you could go to the IRS website, especially if you're a New York entity, you could type in all the information and you'll get your tax ID number that same day. Otherwise, your attorney might take their sweet time and overcharge you for the LLC, and that's going to just lead to lengthier closing periods. Personally, the second I'm under contract, I have a trigger in my CRM that leads my team to open an LLC immediately. We do not wait on LLC formation. We just have to get the deal under contract in order for us to go out and open that company. Typically, it takes us the same day to get the company open and get the tax ID number. And within two to three days, the bank account is open for that new entity if it's a single property company that we're opening it for. You wanna have your money situated when going into these deals. Whether you don't have it all in the bank right away, you wanna have a plan. So you wanna have your lenders on speed dial, have them ready with commitment letters and appraisals, environmentals, whatever they have to do in order to see this deal through. You don't want them delaying you if they need a new appraisal, they don't like your title company, blah, blah, blah. You want to have them ready to go the second you're under contract, even before you're under contract, just so you don't run into any obstacles during the process. The smoother everybody works together, the smoother your deal's going to go, and the faster you're going to be able to close. Sadly, that concludes this video. I hope that those minor tips, those brief tips, helped you figure out how to close deals faster. You can utilize these tips whether you're an agent 
or an investor, just make sure that the person on the buying or selling side has everything figured out when you're going into contract. If you think I missed something, please drop a comment, tell me what you think. I feel like there's more things in there that I didn't mention, but I got into the high level stuff that's very important to keep in mind. If you get all this stuff sorted out and you implement it into the right CRMs and software programs that will make sure you don't forget, you have a checklist. If you build yourself that checklist, you're going to see deals through to the finish line faster than your competitors. And who knows, one day you might even be the best.